What's going on everybody? It's just another day in the kitchen back with another episode and in today's video we're taking a look at the dope merch surrounding Ken Carson's latest album release, A Great Chaos. Now if you didn't know, Ken signed to Playboy Cardi's Opium label back in 2019 and with each passing year the Atlanta artist has continued to grow into the rock star that he is today. I just wanted to preface that because throughout the video you'll see Cardi's influence. Now shout out to all of you guys that always mention the type of videos that you'd like to see in the comments and as always thank you so much for watching. Now like I mentioned Ken just dropped his third studio album A Great Chaos this past Friday the 13th of October and with 18 tracks you're bound to find some type of banger on there for yourself. And let me know in the comments what's your favorite Ken Carson song. Now for those of you wondering why I'm covering Ken Carson as he's not the hugest artist at the time, I would like to point out that this album is trending towards a top 10 release and the fact that Ken is now pulling about 6 million monthly Spotify listens which I think is pretty great. And as someone that's been able to follow his blow up over the last couple of years the same way I was able to watch Cardi, I think it's been really rewarding as a fan. Now, they did tease this merch initially on October 6th, and it had this dope kind of Windows 98 throwback aesthetic, giving it that kind of vintage vibe, which we've now seen as a common theme for most of these opium artists. Now, as for the actual merch to support this album drop, we do see some variety, and I'm happy to report that a lot of the pricing is pretty fair. As always, to start off with, you do see some kind of musical item, so there is the digital download of the album available for a cool $10. And when it comes to the actual pricing of the actual merch, it starts off with $45 for the tee, which is pretty reasonable, followed by $100 for this hoodie right here, and then this vampire tee again for $45. Now, when it comes to the actual merch, like I mentioned, it is still available to this day. So if you are inspired by this video, you can, of course, go to Ken Carson's website, and I will go ahead and link that in the description. Now this merch is of course only for pre-order as most of these artists now do. And as you can see, it says that it ships on November 30th, 2023, which is about a month from now and some change. And all things considered, I guess that's about standard for most of these artists merch drops. When we think about most pre-order pieces taking anywhere from four to six, up to six to eight weeks to release. Now, in addition to these decently priced t-shirts, we've also got these A Great Chaos beanies, which start out at $30. And although there isn't a whole lot to them actually going on, I do think that it's great, given that that's a pretty affordable piece of merch. Now, to follow up those dope little beanies, we've got this t-shirt, which is, of course, dedicated to the song Jennifer's Body. And shout out to Megan Fox one time for the original inspiration. Now, in addition, like I mentioned, a lot of these t-shirts are priced around $45, and you will see that there is a lot of variety when it comes to actual designs. I think a lot of times what ends up happening with artists is that they end up focusing on maybe one or two designs and just kind of copy and pasting the actual album art on t-shirts. And I am also really digging the whole metal and black metal aesthetic when it comes to the font on a lot of these pieces. And like I mentioned earlier in this video, you will see a lot of Playboy Cardi's influence and aesthetic all over this actual merch drop. Now, I do think it's safe to say that anybody signed to the Opium label definitely follows a similar aesthetic and creative direction to Cardi, which is, of course, very fair. However, I do think it's interesting that even Ken is using a similar style when it comes to this kind of black metal uh, artwork that we're seeing featured on the actual art pieces. Now, when it comes to my actual favorite piece from this drop, and I do realize that this actual album merch drop isn't for everyone, it's got to be this death mosh tea, just because it's so reminiscent of a kind of black metal or death metal tea that I would have grown up interested in. And given that all of these pieces that we see at the moment are only available at the time for pre-order, I'm not able to speak to the quality of these pieces. However, I am hoping to find out that they do print these on those kind of heavier vintage style wash t-shirts to kind of give them that throwback feeling. And I also want to mention that this Death Mosh tee, of course, is featured in this white iteration. And I did notice this while also browsing other pieces of merch from this collection. Now, like I said, this merch is still available to this day. So let me know in the comments what you think about the overall aesthetic and vibe of it so far. 
Now, I grew up listening to this type of music, so it's right up my alley, but I understand for fans that are more so into the trap or hip-hop elements, it might be something more jarring. Now, I do want to give them credit for these next couple of teas, which feature some old-school internet memes. And if you're not familiar, I can definitely do a follow-up video, kind of breaking them down a little bit more. Although, one of them is definitely not appropriate for YouTube. Now, for some of the more lazier merch designs that I've ever seen, we've got a great chaos.com right here, which might mean something more special to the actual fans. However, I do know that Ken also types kind of mysteriously, just as Cardi did back in the day. And to wrap up the last couple of pieces from this album merch drop, we of course have the album URL featured on these hoodies and tees, which again is pretty low effort. However, I'm not here to judge. Now, given that this is Ken's third studio album and the first of which I've really seen the merch for, I'm really depending on you guys to let me know what you guys think about it overall in the comments. Like I pointed out earlier in this video, Ken has been growing with each year, so I am curious to see the reception towards this album and how he continues to grow along with his opium label mates. If you made it this far, let me know what you guys think of this video and who you'd like to see me cover next. As always, guys, please stay safe. Thank you so much for cooking with the kitchen. It's lit. Straight up. And peace, guys. And like and subscribe. You dig?